Hello guys, welcome back to our channel, Life Reviewed. My name is Dev, and today we'll be doing a one year later review of this Lenovo Smart Clock here. Let me tell you a bit about this. So this is the Lenovo Smart Clock with Google Assistant Smart Speaker. There are other variants of this, but this is the one with an LCD screen. So the display of this is four IPS touchscreen display. The resolution of this is 480 into 800. The audio of this is uh, one a 1.5 inch three watt speaker. So the speaker is right here in the middle. Uh, the peak power of this is 6 watt and there are two passive radiators, in, uh, radiators inside this, uh, this performance of this uh, the features of this is this has 1 GB of RAM with 8 GB flash which is eMMC not EFSC with MediaTek 8167S 1.5 GHz processor so I would say for this this is quite quite a good configuration so uh, you can use this to control your connected home you can set up all other devices uh, as you want uh, as you can see the look of this looks very similar to the Google devices uh, the Google mini the Google home they have gone with a very um, uh, integrated look for this so if you use with along with the Google products it will not look out of place so you can enjoy your favorite music be it Spotify be it Savan be it Amazon music you can all set it up with this you can set alarms with this as you can see uh, you can set an alarm so that is one good thing and uh, uh, this is wireless music stream streaming via Bluetooth so that is one good thing you can use this as a Bluetooth uh, Bluetooth speaker you can use your uh, uh, phone to connect as you do with all your Bluetooth speakers right you can just search it in your uh, Bluetooth devices you can pair it with this and you can listen to music um, coming to the music quality itself the speaker of this is mono uh, the bass is okay not that much the clarity of this is okay but uh, yeah this is okay if you if you expect something like very good quality music out of this no this is a smart clock which has a speaker this is not a speaker with an uh, no with secondary uh, functions this is a smart clock and this behaves like one so on top of this this is this positive and negative uh, this is to control the volume of this so that's quite nice at the bottom of this we have uh, this power cable so another another thing you have to keep it connected at all times you have to keep it connected with your wi-fi at all times otherwise you cannot use this this is not portable and this is a if you have concerns you know if you do not want people or google to listen to you know if you keep this in bedroom and if you, if you are skeptical that uh, google might eavesdrop in your you know nightly uh, you know in your romantic uh, discussion so you can close it the mic is muted yeah the mic is muted they say that and this is a red accent here so you know that it is muted and another good the thing is back are, on yeah okay and another thing is it has uh, a usb uh, outlet here so you can charge your devices charge your smartphone charge your phone charge your uh what's it uh your smart watches everything can be done i really quite liked it here i charge my smartphone from there now uh coming back to that you can also use digital photo album here as a screen um uh does the google account that you sign in of course that uh, uh, if you use that in your phone and if your photos are backed up there you can set it up as a uh, smart photo album from here that's also one good thing so you can display all your google photos from a google account so that's that's nice another thing is easy use uh, this smart lock has a drop down touch panel that allows you to access all the smart devices from smart yeah so something like this so you can there are all this is a smart alarm good night play music all and off night light this also has something called night light so that is if you if it is very near to your um okay from here very near to your table so you can you can use this as a night lamp turn it off okay and google assistant of course you know google assistant right these days it's very useful you can of course there's a built-in google assistant and uh, you can use the google assistant to simply say you know your your uh, tag word and uh, play music from Savan, spotify all these things you just there's a keyword i'm not going to say the keyword otherwise it will just start off but it is there i will i will put it <laughs> on top of the screen but of course you know that right everyone knows that unless you are living uh, at the bottom of a rock or something all right so you can also use this um as a uh, monitor for your cctv cameras like your main door kids room and all these things you simply have to connect it using your app which is the google home app and you can use this now let me show you the google home app a little brief overview so usually the google home app of this it is usually included in a suit of google app applications but you can also download it from your play store so once you start it uh, you have to set it up with your um, uh, gmail 
and you can set it up your cameras in this account otherwise you don't run so as you can see i have set it up a few cameras so after your camera is in set in the same uh, account then you can access you can see all these cameras from your screen here and i have another speaker here i will do the review of this very soon this is a google home mini device i'll be doing the review of that very soon so stay tuned for that subscribe if you don't so all these cameras and all these things so this here this bedroom clock this is the one that we see here you can play music from here and if i tap it you can control your volume as you can see if i'm doing this here you see the volume is getting increased and decreased here i can use it to cast my audio uh, so I, from here if i'm listening to any audio i can cast this audio to a smart tv smart device uh, so that is another separate thing if you want to see all these configurations of this how to cast it put it in the comment section below and made a separate video of that i am not including this here because it will make this video very wrong so i'm not doing that and uh, also i'm not um, including all these things how to configure all these things here so if you want that put it in the comment section below i'll do that uh, later on uh, another video so there are a few other things which I'd like to talk about. As you can see, you have call home. You can use, you can configure this and use this as a calling device. So it can call any contact in your in your list, contact list, and it can directly call it. Uh, this is something called broadcast. So if you have multiple speakers associated in your home and you can use this broadcast and you can say something like dinner is ready. And if you press that and all the devices in all your rooms will just announce that dinner is ready or whatever, come to this room or that or something like that. And there are routines. So using routines, what is routine? Routine is you can... Uh, Configure something, schedule something like, you know, switch off all your lights. If you have smart devices, if you have smart plugs, if you have smart something, you can, you can say that at this particular point, if you have a smart AC, you can say, set up a routine. So your smart AC will start, set up your geezer, turn on your geezer, it will turn it off, turn off light, turn off light, turn on lights. So all this can be done using routine. So this is the age of smart homes. Guys, if you don't know, get to know of this. These are very good and don't, don't live under a rock as I'm saying, get to know all these things. The fabric material is quite good. This is a cloth. Uh, looks very similar to our Google devices as I said, all the other Google things. So it really matches well with your Google devices. So I have here a Google Home Mini. As you can see, the cloth very similar. The color is the same. Just let me show you side by side. So very similar, very similar. So aesthetically, you can use it with all your Google devices and looks really, really uh, uh, not out of place. It looks like a sibling. Now, uh, coming to the problems of this, uh, one problem is you always need to be plugged in uh, to, to uh, a power system, uh, power charger. Another thing is you always need to be connected to a network, so you will need a Wi-Fi network for this. Um, one other point is you cannot change the keyword. So, so in your Amazon Echo devices, you can configure that. Uh, you can choose whatever keyword you want, but here you cannot. You only have to use the keyword that is, that is, uh, you know, you know that hey uh, and okay. Um, so that's one thing. The, ma uh, the mic of this can pick up words uh, quite well, even while playing music considerably well. But if you are a little while, little back, and the music is playing at full volume, it does not listen it. So let's say you are you are sitting at around five meter away, and the music is playing at full volume, it won't it won't listen to your um, command. So that's another another thing. But I think this is uh, um, it's okay. You know, you cannot expect that that much clarity out of this. So. So the MRP of this is 9,999, but I got this for around 3,000 from Flipkart. So we can get this uh, quite cheap, 3,000 to 3,500. So keep an eye out uh, during the offer, so you will get it um, for quite less. Now, uh, the question that I get a lot is, is this better than Amazon Alexa and uh, Amazon Echo to be more precise? And is this the quality of this is better than Amazon Alexa is if it's more cognitive if it hears uh, more than Amazon that I can definitely say this is much better than Amazon Alexa if you are uh, considering uh, Alexa or Google device go for this I would say uh, Alexa is uh, uh, it's an Amazon device is not that much the cognitive the speech and all these things are not that good the speakers of those are the new ones are at least a little bit better but overall i would say the package of the google assistant these things are good and if you plan to buy uh, make a, a smart home with smart devices i would say go with the google assistant because you'll get support and all these things um, with the google assistant things and with the lenovo so that's it for today guys i hope you like this video if you do like share and subscribe and if you have any questions put them in the comment section below and answer each and every one of you till then stay safe and check out one of our latest videos yeah goodbye